and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip here to Australia continues. Today we're here at the historic Luna Park that dates back to 1935. So this park is home to four roller coasters that we can't wait to try out. It's right here in the heart of Sydney and I tell you what the views from outside the park so are good. already great. I cannot wait to get on the rides here. One of them roller coasters I'm really excited for is called Big Dipper and it's actually going to be my first ever single rail Yippee! coaster. Finally, it's not an RMC single rail, it's an Intamin one, but you know what, I'm really looking forward to giving it a ride. Uh, also, we just want to say thank you to thank Luna you Park so for providing us with our mission today and also allowing us to film with our chest mounted GoPro on the ride to take you along as well. So come and join us, it's going to be a great day. Park hours are 10 a.m. through until 10 p.m. So what we'll do, we'll head around in the daytime, get loads of rides in and then come back later on tonight and show you the park little. Oh, it's going to look so nice. Yeah, it is. And our hotel looks out over the park and I tell you what, the view is absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. Look at the iconic skyline of Sydney. This park is in a gorgeous location. You've got the Sydney Harbour Bridge just there and of course the Opera House over in the distance as well. And we're going to be having a good explore around the city over on the Sandbrook Adventures. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, look at the big face just here. I've seen so many photos of this over the years. So just to be here and see it in person, 1935 this park dates back to. Honestly, it's got so much history here. However, back in 2021, they had a huge regeneration project and actually brought in nine new rides um, all for in one season, which I think is fantastic. Yeah, this has got all the lights on here as well, so it'll look amazing at night. Look at this, we're walking through his mouth. <laughs> look at the size of his teeth just there. Absolutely amazing. Now, it is a free to enter paper ride amusement park, or of course, you can get the wristbands as well, which we've got today, which gives you entry to all of the attractions. Oh, look at this, straight away, you can feel the nostalgia coming to somewhere like this. You've got the Ferris wheel there. I bet the views are gonna be awesome from on there as well with the location of this park. And yeah, lots of different rides to discover here, including there is four roller coasters, but unfortunately, one of them is closed, isn't it? Wild Mouse is closed. For maintenance. Oh, we've been checking all week and it's been down for some retract work. We don't know when it's going to be back open, so we are going to miss the Wild Mouse, which is a shame, but we'll have a look at it. However, it's Big Dipper that really is my main draw I'm to really here. Looking forward to getting on. Yeah, that's the thing. And look at this, really nice. Carousel just over there as well, the building style. And yeah, it's not a huge park, however, they've made the most of the footprint here. We've got lots of rides all packed in to a very small space. And yeah, there are nine new rides that they brought in for 2021, including Big Dipper. But yeah, lots of histories to talk about throughout this vlog. You know me, I love a good amusement park. There we go, here's a look at all them new rides that they put in. Luna Land, just down the bottom there. And yeah, big expansion for the park. Because they actually put in three roller coasters uh, as part of that expansion. And yeah, it's a lot to put in in one go, isn't it? But you've got like this main avenue down here. Look at the building style. I mean, all the lights are on now, but this is going to look stunning at night. The old nostalgic music playing as well. And yeah, they've just got loads of gates just coming in, like free to enter. That's how these amusement parks should be really like this. The free to enter, paper ride in this location. I'd imagine this really works to their advantage. Loads of games all down the side here as well. Look at the clowns just there. <laughs> all the painters and oh. Just to be here, Crystal Palace, just over there as well. Yeah, Drop Tower is going to have a good view from up on there. Look at all these games. Yeah, and all the floors painted as well. Oh, I do really like it already. Just the nostalgic feel, but with a modern twist as well. And that's what Big Dipper really is for this part, because there used to be an old roller coaster here back in the day called Big Dipper. Then they had a steel Big Dipper here that we actually rode when we went to Dreamworld. Yeah, that is the ride that used to be here. And then now, of course, they've got the ultra-modern Big Dipper, which is the Intamin Single Rail, or the Hot Racer, as it's officially known. Look at that drop tower. <laughs> it is, yeah, Hair Razor just here. I love the buildings. Here we go, that's the Big Dipper entrance just there. Look at this. There we go. Oh! <laughs> that looks nice and forceful. Looking forward to getting on there. Big top just over here. I think that's some sort of show venue. Off to the right. Coney Island Funnyland is something that I'm looking forward to. That's basically a big fun house. And from what I've seen from images and videos before, it looks very similar to the fun house that actually burnt down at Blackpool Pleasure Beach back in the UK. And yeah, there's a look at the wooden wild mouse just up there that sadly we're not gonna be getting. However, we'll be back at some point in the future, I'm sure. 
Look at this. Yeah, I'd imagine this is the proper old entrance to the old Big Dipper coaster. And yeah, they've just kept it over the years. And obviously, now it's the entrance to the new Big Dipper. I can't believe it. I'm finally getting on a single rail coaster here. I, I can't believe it. I had some bad luck with these, Charlotte. So I'm really looking forward to it. And we can take you on as well with the POV. Here we go. Let's go and have a look. A big dipper just here at Luna Park, Sydney. I think it's really great how they celebrate the history here at Luna Park. So yeah, here's a look at the original Big Dipper. Unfortunately, that was destroyed in a fire, along with a few other rides that they had here at the time. And then down here, they actually brought in a steel version. And yeah, this is the ride that we went on down at Dreamworld. Oh wow, look at this, it's like a museum in here. And yeah, there's a look at one of the trains from the old Scenic Railway that used to operate on this site. Here we go then, here's a look at Big Dipper, my first ever single rail and the only single rail in the world to actually feature two launches. Here we go, look at this. Really excited to give this a ride. Look at the close proximity to the apartments here. Imagine living there, get a great view. And yeah, just seven riders per train on this Intamin Hot Racer. Let's go on Big Dipper. Look at this, the trains are so cute. Are hey, you excited, Charlotte? Hey, let's take you on for the ride. Here we go then, we've got a dispatch hey, on Big Dipper. We've got two launches on this, top speed of 44 miles an hour and two inversions. Hey, hey little launch into the big one, let's go. single rail and one of you. Woo! Oh. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Some good air. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh! Really smooth. Oh! God, that had more force with than I was expecting. Oh, I really enjoyed that. And what a location as well. We've got some entertainment going on down there. The views of the Harbour Bridge, the Opera House. Oh, that was great. Woo! Really enjoyed that. Big dipper. Well, after quite a few years trying to ride one of these, finally being on a single rail. And yeah, it might not be an RMC one, but I've been on one finally. Oh, you finally been on one. That was such a good coast. The, coast, the layout was just so good. I really enjoyed that ride. I exceeded my expectations because it actually had a bit more force than I was expecting. It really whips around the layout it on does, there, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, it's got the two inversions on there. Obviously, the first launch isn't really up to much. I think they just got that in so they could get the record of having two launches on one of these. Uh, and also the location as well because you've got the rock faces there. And then the second launch, it was really kicked was in nice powerful. on there. Yeah, it was great. And then, of course, the two inversions, uh, you whipped straight through those. I thought the second inversion was probably the best out of the two. Uh, but I really enjoyed that. Oh, really good fantastic ride. coaster and a really good location as well. The views of on there were brilliant. Yeah, really enjoyed Intamin's take on a single rail. Maybe one day I'll get to ride an OMC oh, one. Like hope so. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be have better luck next time. I've got to say, we've not been here for long, but already I'm loving this park. I love a good nostalgic amusement park. And yeah, something I was really looking forward to was the Wild Mouse. And yeah, it's been closed for quite some time. And from chatting to a few staff, I don't think it's going to be operating for a while yet. They're doing some pretty major work on there at some point. However, this opened here in 1959, just one year after the Wild Mouse opened back at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which is no longer with us back in England. I miss that class. It's so nice. That's why I was so looking forward to this. But yeah, it's not like we've missed it by a few days or anything. Apparently, it's been closed since August. And and uh, yeah, it's not gonna be open for quite some time yet. Um, but there's a look at the ride just up there. And of course, built on top of all these buildings. Would have loved to have got on that, but hopefully we'll do the restoration work that they need to. And that'll be back open at some point in the future. Wooden Wild Mouse. And yeah, it actually has been relocated to another location um, and then came back here to this park, kind of as part of the park's history. And also they used to take it down and take it to an event each summer as well, which I find amazing. Yeah, like crazy how they used to pack it up. Love all the buildings around here. We've got a nice little show going on just here as well outside Coney Island Funnyland. Yeah, looking forward to that. It's basically a big fun house in there. Here we go then. So we've come
come around to the other side of the park now and yeah all of this side was redeveloped for 2021 when they put in these new rides and yeah, it's great around here i tell you what there's a fantastic atmosphere cannot wait to see the park at night and you've got lots of rides for kids around here and a great view just there looking at big dipper can you imagine living in one of those just there i know back in the day they used to have a lot of issues here with noise complaints however um, it seems like they've got by with that now which is good to see you know um yeah they used to had the, the, the big arrow looping coaster that we went on at Dream World right here. So I tell you what though, Big Dipper looks the part there, doesn't it? Really nice ride. You got Sledgehammer just down here, another one of the new rides, and also a couple of other coasters to get on here, including this Gerslau family shuttle coaster called Boomerang that also opened in 2021. So yeah, we'll go and get on there and give that a ride. Here we go then on Boomerang on the back row. And yeah, obviously we go backwards first. Yeah, this is one of two roller coasters built by Gerslau that are these family shuttle coasters. And we've done the other one. It's located at Adventure City in Anaheim, California. We did that last January. There we go, great view. And our hotel is actually just up there, Harbour View. And yeah, we'll show you that in the travel vlog that will be coming up on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Nice view of the harbour though, isn't it? There's Charlotte. Hello there. <laughs> What a great view. And here we go. Got a bit of YMCA in the station, just. Whoa! Woo! Hey! Interaction with the other rides. Into a helix, helix, helix. Hey! Some great views in this park. Yeah, if you remember the one at Adventure City, it's got a big building round here and it holds you up here for ages. Well, this one just releases straight away. Woo! Oh, bit of force there. Woo! Really good at family coaches, this girl slam. Oh, there we go. That was nice, that was. Well, there we go. We had our ride there on Boomerang. And yeah, nice family coaster. Yeah, I quite enjoyed it. Like, nipping in and out of bits in the park. Yeah, quite forceful as well on the Helix. And a great location. That's the key to this park. The location here is gorgeous. Really nice. Oh, really nice. Uh, i tell you what, the operations are the best we've seen here this oh, trip. they're really good, yeah. During our trip so far to Australia, we've seen that the operations have been quite slow at some of the parks. Whereas here, uh, the whizzing so down. down the park. Really good. I mean, Big Dipper is only on one train. However, uh, they're getting it sent out they are, really which quick. Is really good. Uh, which is good to see. Anyway, up next then, going on this big ride you can see behind us here, it's Sledgehammer. Are you coming on, Charlotte? Oh, I'm going to give it a minute. Hey, right, I'll take you on with the POV. Let's go and ride it. Here we go then, on Sledgehammer. And yeah, looking forward to the view from on here. And yeah, it looks like we got a Big Dipper in good time because it looks like it might have gone down. So I'm so glad we got on it. That's the curse of being single rails, that is. <laughs> but here we go. Yeah, what's quite interesting about Sledgehammer here is the fact it's got two queues. So it's got one which you can queue up to do the full 360 degree rotation. And it's also got another queue for you want to do the 240 degree rotation. And they've a swap between the two. However, this is the third cycle they've done of the 360 one. So if you want to do the 240, not all the way over, then yeah, just only run it every few cycles when that builds up a bit of a queue, if that makes sense. Whoa! Nice high one, this is. Got a bit of a screamer next to me here. Oh, there's a train, whoa! That's like the end of the train line down there. Woo! Wow! Whoa! Hang time! Sydney Harbour Bridge. Wow, wow, this is great. Woo. 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 Give me some of that hang time, baby. <laughs> Woo. Good cycle as well. <laughs> 
Wow. Just looking out over this iconic harbour. Amazing. Woo! <laughs> All the interactions between the rides here, really nice. Compact park, so much packed in. What a cycle! We normally get along on one of these. Oh, wow! Woo. Hey, slow it down. That was so That was really good. I enjoyed that. On ride footage there from Sledgehammer, and that was brilliant. The cycle on there was so long as well. Really enjoyed that, and just the location as well for that ride. I you had a good time on there. It was great, yeah. I don't think you'd like that yeah, with the cycle. Yeah, yeah, quite interesting with the loading on there. Like I say, having that other queue to just do 240 degrees, but they've done that long cycle, the 360, three times, which was quite interesting. <laughs> so crazy. they're going to be waiting a while, aren't yeah. people? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe they do it just when that queue builds up more. I mean, there was a bigger queue for the 360. 60, so I'm not too sure. Look at this view though here in the park. Iconic. I've seen images of this place for years. So just to be here and see it is amazing. I'm actually heading into Coney Island Funnyland now, which is this big fun house. Really looking forward to this. Oh wow, look at this in here. Absolutely epic. I tell you what, the nostalgia of this, I never got to see it in person. However, back at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the UK, I'm sure many of you have got fond memories of the old fun house that used to stand where Valhalla does today. It was a huge room like this. They also have one at Southport Pleasure Land, uh, also back in the UK. And yeah, look at this in here. Like, this is amazing. We've got the slides, like you got the big spinning disc over there, the cake walk. Like, this is awesome in here. And also got loads of old images and paintings all in here as well. This is absolutely amazing in here. What a piece of history to come and see here in Australia. Ever since 1935, the iconic entrance has stood here to the park with a face. And of course, it looks very similar to that to this day. However, over the years, the face has evolved, as we can see here. That's quite scary. That looks more like the face we're going to see at Luna Park down in Melbourne, actually. Yeah, look at all these different designs. And of course, 1995, the current version, and the one that I'd imagine is going to stand here for a very, very long time. New fiberglass design. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. Just the history of this place. I absolutely love how much they care about it. This is what I want to see back in Blackpool. You know, old pictures on display like this. It's kind of like a museum as well as a fun house in here. This display is just wonderful to see here. A part that really cares about the history. The old river caves they used to have here. I believe that was another one that unfortunately got destroyed in that fire. But yeah, look at this. They used to have the ghost train here as well. All these old images just here. The building, of course, that's Crystal Palace now, still standing to this day. Noah's Ark up there as well. And of course, the original Big Dipper ride. Look at the queues just there to come in in the 1960s. Like, that is incredible. Yeah, this is amazing to see. Oh, the Wild Mouse just there in the 60s. Shame we're not getting that, but at least we've not missed it by a few days. It's been shut for quite some time. Hey, here we go. We've got the double wheel just there. <laughs> Hey, here we go, here comes Charlotte. It's a big one. It is, two together. It's quite trippy in the middle because you have to cross onto the other one. Oh, talking to trippy. Hey, there she is. Oh, that was good fun. I can't believe you tripped over, Charlotte. Hey, you're all right. Here we go. We're in the mirror maze just here now as well. You know what? You can tell the age of all this, you know, like all the wooden beams and stuff that are used throughout and all the artwork. One of the highlights of the trip there, seeing it in here. I love it. Love all the old signs in here as well. So yeah, we did the barrels of fun, the mirror maze. We got some big steep slides just over here as well. And all these old machines just here as well. We put one dollar coins in and look at these. Crazy. I love seeing all bits of history like this. Yeah, I think we'll go on this mat slide over here, shall we? Let's go and give this one a go. This looks really good, it's got an airtime mill. <laughs> Here we go! Whoa! Oh wow, airtime! Woo! Woo! Oh, that was good. Did you enjoy the slide there, Charlotte? Oh, that was so good, I actually came down on my side. <laughs> 
You got lots of vintage pinball machines just down in here as well. And yeah, this over here that looks amazing, the joy wheel. I've seen videos of these, but I've never actually been on one before. There you go, where you sit in the middle and it spurts you out to the side and spins round. It's kind of like last man standing. <laughs> I love the interaction on this classic as well with the operator. Here we go, it's last person who's still on there. You want to get your hands up? And he comes sliding off. How do you think you're going to get on here, Charlotte? I think I'm going to get on quite well, to be honest. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> here we go, let the spin begin. Fly like a bird, fly like a bird. Oh, oh, oh. Chicken oh. 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 oh, I'm gone. <laughs> I beat you. Well, here we go, not much joy for me there on the joy wheel. I beat you. Oh, I can't believe it. Well done, though, Charlotte. I, I Quickly after you though, so it wasn't long. <laughs> I like that footage of you just coming off from the side there as well. But yeah, it's good fun that is. You don't stay on there long no, though. I think I'm wearing jeans, that's not helped. There off. you go, slipping off on there. What's your excuse? Always the excuse. <laughs> it's so nice in here, really nostalgic. It's like stepping back in time. And we're going on what we would call the cakewalk. Well, yeah, it's actually called the turkey trot just over here. So we're going to give this a go. There we go, thank you. On the turkey trot. I will. Hey. <laughs> Turkey trots. Whoa. AKA the cake walk. Whoa. Hey, here she comes. Oh, what a trot. What a trot. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. I do like these. Hey. I'd love that job on there. <laughs> That'd be a really good fun job. There she comes. <laughs> that is quite the trot you've got going on there. <laughs> One at a time on the trot in Turkey. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> Good fun these are. Stand up air time. Way. And yeah, all the floors wood in here. It just smells so old. And oh, I love that. <laughs> wow, what a turkey trot. <laughs> oh, it is brilliant in here. And there goes Charlotte. <laughs> what sort of moves is she doing there after the turkey trot? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I love it in here. Absolutely brilliant. After all these years, oh, vibrating floor. Just to come and do one of these old school fun houses like this. There she is. What moves we got going on now? The Charlotte Jive. Whoa. That is quite something. <laughs> hey. Whoa. <laughs> You will never have moves like me. <laughs> spinning, spinning. Whoa. It's like the queue for Wild Mouse XXL. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Coney Island Funny Line was fantastic. I love the fun house in there. It's so nostalgic. There's so much stuff for people to do, and it's just all round good fun. It is indeed. You got a little drink there, Charlotte. So I've got a slushy, so I've got a raspberry sweat. Summer breeze. Oh, lovely. Well, I've got a nice milkshake here. Uh, it was about $8, about £4.50. That's quite good because at the moment, while we've been here, the pound towards the Australian dollar has just got so good at the moment. Yeah, good time to be here. It Fantastic. Is. Right, let's get some more riding. Back here on the other side of the park, then now, time to get on some more rides. Yeah, just thought I'd show you some of the family attractions down here as well. So, just the silly sub just there, silly submarines. <laughs> I'm so pleased we got on Big Dipper because it's down now. He's been down for over an hour. I'm so pleased we got on it. I really am. And we actually had a few rides on there as well, which I'm pleased too about. Uh, yeah, at least we managed to get it. Yeah, three goes we've had on there. No, so it doesn't open. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Made the most of it. Now, along with that, you got the Loopy Lighthouse just down here. There's a look at that. Another little frog bounce ride over here. That fits in lovely there. Just underneath the helix. There we go. What are we going on now then, Charlotte? We're going on the little nipper. Little nipper. This opened in 2021, Preston and Barbary. Tiny little junior coaster just over here. And this will be our final coaster ride here. Hopefully we'll get on there later on, back on Big Dipper, but we'll see what happens. It's down at the moment. It may be back. Nice train design there for the little Nepo, and yeah, I'll be jumping on in just a moment. Just thought I'd show you here as well, they've got a little balloon ride down at this side of the park as well. One of those that you can spin yourselves around in. Here we go then, little nippers, come and join us for a PRB. 
here at Luna Park, Sydney. Yeah, what's, oh, here we go. It just started to rain a bit. <laughs> it's going to be a wet ride. Yeah. So we're actually swimming with the sharks now. Little nipper. Yeah, look at the trains parked up just here. It must be the end of the line. Oh, it's a wet ride. <laughs> Quite refreshing though with some of the humidity we've had this trip. And we know when we go over to Perth, it's going to be pretty warm over there, really humid. For a visit to Adventure World that'll be coming up. Here we go. Woo! Hey! You get a little pop of air time on the back there. Is it three laps, is it? Oh no. Hey! Thought we were reversing back down then. Guess all the trains must just park up here before they go to the station. Pick up more passengers. Whoa! Rainy ride. Hey! Oh, and there we go, the little nipper. Nice fun little ride there on the little nipper. And yeah, it means we've got on all three available coasters here. Like I say, we're not getting the fourth one, which is the wild mouse, unfortunately, but we've got on the three that are open. Yeah, hopefully we'll get back on Big Dipper later on. Just sort of show you down here as well. We've got a nice little mini wheel. However, we've got the big wheel to go on on the other side this afternoon. I'm sure we'll get some great views from on there. Right then, time to continue on with some more rides then. This afternoon here at Luna Park, Sydney. We're going on the Dodgem. We're just here, Dodgem City. All the artwork around here. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Gonna have a ride on the Dodgems just here. Here we go, on the Dodgems. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, you got to go around this way, around the little middle section this way. Uh... I like how he turns the lights off as well to make it a bit more atmospheric. That's what we like. There we go. There she is. Oh! <laughs> well, you didn't say no head on bumping, so... <laughs> oh. Bye, Charlotte. <laughs> We've got some proper retro old school disco lighting in here as well. Hey. I'm stuck on the middle bit. Oh no. There we go. Yes, yeah, so there are quite a few more rides coming up. And of course, we'll be coming back to see the park in the dark later on. Oh! <laughs> he does not know how to see her. <laughs> there are some funny quotes on the wall. That one says, broom, broom. And this one over here. It says, mmm, suckers. <laughs> Just on the wall. There we are, we can get her now. Straight in the back. Hey. If anything, it makes it more awkward up in the middle bit there. It kind of clogs everybody up together. Woo. Awesome ride there on the Dodgems. And yeah, not the best layout having that little central piece. It was a bit awkward, really, with that just there. But uh, yeah, there was some nice lighting on there. Very retro. Right, we're going on this drop tower just here now called Hair Razor. And tell you what, this looks really forceful. It doesn't stop at the top. It gets straight up there and it will release in just a few seconds time and drop straight down. Here we go, Hair Razor. Hopefully we'll get a nice view on this. You want to be facing the side towards the Harbour Bridge, really. Should we go and give this a go? Oh, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> Here we go then. Time to start the climb on Hair Razor. God, look how fast that boat's going over there. There you go, thrill ride. And then we've managed to get on the good side just here for a nice view. Look at this. I love the building style in this park. You can tell that a lot of the items in the vintage pack of Planet Coaster were actually inspired by this park. Oh, look at this view. Oh, wow. You're right, Charlotte. <laughs> Wow, what a view. We tower up here over Sydney. There's the Opera House. Solid. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Solid. Looks like it's going to be quite forceful as well from watching it off-ride. And the thing is, we know we're not going to hold at the top. <laughs> what a view. Oh! Wow! Oh, fantastic. That was forceful. That was a good screen there, Charlotte. <laughs> What an absolutely fantastic drop tower. I loved that. It was really forceful as well. And I loved that it just came straight down instead of holding it at the top. I absolutely hated that <laughs> drop tower. It was way too forceful. Back in the day, though, you wouldn't even go on the drop towers and give them a go. Well, I will not be going on that ever again. Are you sure you don't want to go on for a second round? No, I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, well, well done for going on there and giving it a go. But yeah, we've still got a couple more flat rides to do down at this end. And we'll go on the big wheel as well. 
And yeah, you can actually just walk straight out of the park here onto this little boardwalk area where of course you get amazing views of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And yeah, you can see there's a cruise ship in just over there as well. And yeah, look at all the buildings around here. It's a beautiful park, it really is. We'll definitely have to come back at some point for that wooden wild mouse just over there. Look at that on the building. Fantastic, what a piece of history right there. It looks lovely. It does, right, we'll head back in just here. I do like these free to enter amusement parks though where all the gates are just open. People more inclined just to go in and do the odd ride, yeah, aren't they, you know? Well, they might just come in, have a little bit of food, one or two rides. Yeah, and soak up the atmosphere of it all. That's what it's all about at these classic amusement parks. Love all the quirky flooring down here. And yeah, we're going on the Tango train just over here now. And yeah, much like Sledgehammer, this is one that's got two different cycles as well. You've got Wild Tango and Mild Tango. So yeah, let's go and give it a ride. Here we go then, so we start off backwards on this. I like the music that they're playing on here as well. Oh! Kind of like postmodern jukebox style. Oh, Charlotte! Just squash it, mate. Oh! <laughs> Listen to all those screams, they're loving it! Woo! Ah. Charlotte's holding on for dear life over here. Come on, just squash me, you know you want to. If you've got to do it, Charlotte, just do it. Oh, there we go. Slowing down. Oh, we're going forwards now. Yeah, it's funny how it starts off with the backwards setting. Normally the other way around. There we go. Some more characters out. Seems to have quite a lot of street entertainment at this part, which is good. Really adds to the atmosphere. Charlotte's all the way over there now. <laughs> yeah, music's good on him. Lots of great lighting as well, all the strobes. Having a bit of a dance around here at Luna Park, Sydney. Still can't believe we're here in Australia. Woo! Let's speed it up, let's go. There she is. Listen to those screams! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Here she comes! Charlotte has arrived! Woo! Woo! It's a fast one! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, this is great! Woo! Woo! Oh! I've been squashed! Oh, I said slowing down. Oh, yeah, that was good, awesome. Fun ride round there on Tango Train. Yeah, that was really intense as well. <laughs> oh, it was good fun though, wasn't it? I enjoyed it, apart from you squashing me a little bit on that. There we go, we have just got a couple of rides to get on down here now. We'll go right up to the top here now on Valare. Luckily, it's not a Zamperla Valare. However, we've got one of them coming up during the trip to Malaysia. So stay tuned for that. Look at this just here. Really nice entrance building. Can't wait to see this place in the dark. Let's go and have a ride on here. There we go then on Valare. There she got a nice view from on here as well. As we spin round on top of the building. Hey. I love this entrance structure just there for the ride as well. It looks quite old and very nostalgic. It makes me think that that was the entrance to a previous ride that was on this location in the past. And they've just painted it and updated it. As they put new rides in. Hey, fast one, this. Woo! I'll tell you what, you get some good crowd reactions over here in Australia. Especially here at Luna Park. I'll get some good screams and whoops going on there. People love it. <laughs> Woo! I don't 
don't think I've ever heard such a crowd reaction to a wave swinger. Everyone's amazed. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what a reaction. Woo! I mean, it's a good fast one, but blimey. I don't think these people have ever been on one of these before. <laughs> The good news is Big Dipper's back open now as well. So we should be able to get back on there this afternoon and into the evening. Here at Luna Park. Woo! Some really nice music playing around this park and loved our ride there on Valare. But yeah, our last big ride to do here now, for re-rides, is the big wheel just over here. So we'll take you on here. I'd imagine we're going to get a nice view. There's the carousel just over there as well that they've got here. And yeah, of course, Lunar New Year has been celebrated at the weekend here as well. So you've got all the lanterns up just there. Yeah, it's kind of around the Ferris wheel. Did you enjoy that there, Charlotte? Yeah, I think everyone else did as well. Yeah, what a crowd reaction. Here we are then on the Ferris wheel and look at the view already. The iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge. And of course, over in the background there, the Sydney Opera House. Absolutely fantastic. What a structure seeing that in person. Got to be probably the most famous bridge anywhere in the world. Like, it really is. Look at that. When you think of Australia, you think of this view, don't you? With the bridge and with the opera house just there. Absolutely fantastic. And yeah, you see it lovely from up here on the big wheel. And here's another view looking back towards the park, showing the iconic location of Luna Park. Look at that. You also get a nice view of the wild mouse from up here as well. And also our accommodations. Yeah, we're staying in the hotel that's got Harbour View on the top just over there. In fact, it is just called The View now. Well, yeah, you can just see it. It's that building there. And our view of the park is amazing. So we're going to be covering that in the travel vlog, which will be the next video here on Theme Park Worldwide. As we make our way up to Melbourne. Stops quite abruptly, this does. <laughs> you do get some nice views though from up here, which is good. Oh, it's so nice. Nice to see the single rail back in action yeah. as well, just over there. Going to have another ride on that. Big Dipper just over there. But yeah, what a view. Like, so lucky to be here. And Sydney's a really nice city. Yeah, it's lovely. Obviously, we're going to be having a bit of an explore around tomorrow and covering that over on the Sandbrook Adventures. But yeah, I can't wait to see this park in the dark shortly. It's going to look amazing tonight with all the lights. It takes a while to load up, as always, with a Ferris wheel, but all the way around now, non-stop service to enjoy the amazing views of Sydney Harbour just over there here at Luna Park. Absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, it's a very compact park, but they've got some great things. Reminds me quite a lot of the likes of Groenland, actually. Oh, I love that park. Yeah, I mean, you know, which one's bigger, would you say? This or Groenland? It's hard to tell. Sure it is hard. Obviously, they're both different shades, but yeah, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the colour of all the buildings as well. Awesome views across Sydney and, of course, of Luna Park. We're over there on the big wheel, and yeah, the good news is Big Dipper, the single rail, is back in action. He's going to have another ride on here now. What a location. ride over on Big Dipper. It's a fantastic coaster. It really is. is. It's so much fun. Really pleased that we've got on it again. We thought that was it earlier on. Know, so fantastic. We're to have four rides on there now Which today. Great. Anyway, we're going to head out of the park for a little bit now and we'll come back in later on and we'll see the park in the dark oh, tonight. It's going to look so nice. Really looking forward to seeing all the lights on. <laughs> now, of course, we're going to be filming some sightseeing vlogs here from Sydney over on the Sandbrook Adventures. But yeah, whilst we're out here, just thought I'd show you the Queen Elizabeth just here from Cunard. Just pulling out of the harbour here in Sydney. Yeah, we just watched it reverse back actually, which was quite interesting. And of course, making its way out now here in Sydney. But yeah, we're going to now head back inside Luna Park and enjoy some rides at night. Inside the 
Park then now and you've just seen some awesome off-road footage of Big Dipper. We've had a bit of a marathon on there, a few more rides. Fantastic. Hey, it is Charlotte on the big slide. Hey. <laughs> back in the fun hours. Oh, I love it in here. Yeah, Big Dipper, yeah, I wouldn't say it's rough near the back, um, but it's been raining all day. The train certainly jolts a little bit on there. Oh, I tell you what, we've loved this part throughout the daytime. Look at it at night. Nice, doesn't it? Yeah, fun in the fun house. Yeah, basically, I went on the slide again and I actually came up and rolled back on the slide. Yeah. Wish I was filming that one to be honest. Oh, so I love it. But yeah, this park and I absolutely fantastic. Of course, we'll bring you a POV from Big Dipper shortly. And yeah, I'll just show you this side of the park here. Some really nice lighting, but of course, the historic side is on the other side of the park and we've got loads of pretty lights over there. What's around here and had no cue. Charlotte thought she got on the little frogs here for a bit of a bounce over Luna Park tonight. Why not? <laughs> Get some good air time there. She barely spits in the seat just there. <laughs> oh, I think the adults are enjoying it more than the kids to be honest. Whee, bouncy bouncy. <laughs> oh, I love theme parks at night, but especially amusement parks like this that are so well lit. I mean, look at all the lighting here. Yeah, quite a few years ago, it was all replaced to LED as well. A huge project, obviously more environmentally friendly and yeah, of course, better on the electricity bills as well. But yeah, what a location for a park. And like I said, we're actually outside the park now on this little boardwalk area. You enjoy the frogs there, Charlotte? Oh, they were so good. Every time you press the button, it went ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, really nice. And yeah, this side of the park here, much better than it used to look um, from what I've seen from photos and videos. We're going to head down to the classic side now, as I'm calling it, or we'll take you for a night ride on Big Dipper. And we're going to see the lights around here. Wow, look at this. The magic of an amusement park at night. Coney Island funny land all lit up. The station just over there for Big Dipper as well. And all the way down to the iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge just over there with the Ferris wheel, the drop tower, all the lights here on the side. This is beautiful. Hungry Horse just over there as well. Yeah, it's not a pub chain like back home. This really is special. I mean, just to see Luna Park Sydney for the first ever time after seeing so many videos and documentaries about it over the years to be here and see it and take you along. Lots of on-ride footage, amazing. And the park looks great. I mean, look at this here. Some of the best lighting ever in an amusement park right there. Let's ride Big Dipper at night. Oh, it looks great at night, doesn't it? It's time for a back row ride now. They're on Big Dipper in the dark. Whoa! Yeah, it's got a bit of a rattle at the back. Whoa! Charlotte's got her hands up. <laughs> Woo! Oh! Big Dipper, look at that view. Oh, it's got a rattle now. Woo! Hey, air time. <laughs> An awesome night ride there on a Big Dipper. But yeah, if you want a smoother ride, definitely down towards the front. It does rattle a bit at the back. It's rattly at the back. I prefer it closer to the front. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it is. Yeah, and this park at night, absolutely stunning. It really is. You've got Big Top there, which is like a show venue that they've got. And yeah, really filtering out now tonight as well. Last part of the night here. And yeah, I'm just going to stroll down this way, get a bit of merch now from this park. The merchandise is fantastic. Crystal Palace, all lit up at night just there as well. All the lights on these flats, and of course, the big wheel there as well with the Sydney Harbour Bridge there, hiding away just behind it. You can't see it as much at night. Well, they've got some amazing merch here in the shop. Like, look at this in here. Wow, the nostalgia of it all. I'm picking up this mug just here, $19.95. Look at that. I really like it. It does say Luna Park Sydney in there as well. Oh, there you go. That's definitely going back 
to the British Theme Park Museum. Well, I just picked up some merch, got a nice towel and also a mug. And you've actually got a rotor down here as well. So much packed into a very small space, just for fun. This is 1935, the one and only Luna Park here in Sydney. That has got to be one of the most impressive entrances I've ever seen to a park. It looks amazing with the big face just there, even the teeth and the okay. eyes light up. And of course, the sign up there on the top as well. And the fact it's all LED now as well, energy efficient, absolutely brilliant. What an amazing day we've had at this park. I absolutely love the atmosphere of these amusement parks and Luna Park here in Sydney has got to be up there as one of the best I've ever visited. What a great day we've had here today. Oh, it's been so good. I've absolutely loved it. It's a beautiful park. It really is. And of course, the location plays a big part to that. Looking out over towards the Opera House, the Sydney Harbour Bridge just here. And of course, a great selection of rides, including Big Dipper. Finally got on a single rail today. Oh, I really enjoyed it. It was so good. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. It just gets a little bit rattly as the day goes on, especially towards the back. But it's a great ride for this park. I'd describe it as more family thrill in my opinion, yeah, that I'd one. Say so uh, it's not well. mega thrilling, uh, but it was the perfect installation for this park. Uh, along with that, Sledgehammer was really good. Uh, I thought Boomerang was a fantastic ride. And of course, the Fun House was absolutely amazing oh, I absolutely too. absolutely love that. It was such a good Yeah, place. that's one of the highlights of the park yeah. right here. The yeah. fact it's like a bit of a museum in there as well. Uh, but yeah, all the lighting around the park, uh, the boulevards all lit up really nice. Honestly, this park, it's stunning. It really is. Shame we didn't get the Wild Mouse, oh, no. but we knew that it was going to be closed so we're not too disappointed and uh, hopefully next time we come here they'll have done the restoration work needed and that classic will be back Fingers open crossed. i really hope so but look at the big face there <laughs> behind us a brilliant visit here to luna park in sydney uh thrilling the people here of sydney since 1935 and our first visit in 2023 what a visit i've absolutely loved it thanks again to the park for having Thank us so and of course allowing us to film loads of povs it's been an action-packed one oh, this there's one been so much going on and our only park of the trip to do at night because opening hours has been qu quite quite short they actually are, yeah. even though we're in the summer over here uh, the opening hours are quite short but uh, yeah here it's been a long day it really it has. has been but we've loved it absolutely fantastic but uh, we've got the travel vlog coming up next making our way to melbourne and we're actually going to start that up in our hotel room over there showing you an awesome view looking out at the oh, park so good. unique view so stay tuned for that one it'll be coming up next here on theme park worldwide and of course head over to the sandbrook adventures for some sightseeing vlogs on the way here from sydney but from luna park that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep, keep on riding. riding see you all in the next vlog